The prototype of the air-breathing engine that would allow air travel at more than eight times the speed of sound was lifted into the upper atmosphere on a rocket and allowed to plunge back to Earth. Scramjets use the rush of oxygen in the air to ignite hydrogen fuel. They could cut flight times from Sydney to London to just two hours from 24 hours now and could slash satellite launch costs by freeing up more space for payload. The groundbreaking experiment came after a failed test of US space agency NASA's multi-million dollar unmanned X-43A scramjet prototype and a previous attempt by the High Shot crew that went awry when their rocket spun out of control. Data from the High Shot scramjet, short for supersonic combustion ramjet, was fired off in a capsule after the engine was due to ignite at 35 kilometers above the ground while traveling at around 7.6 times the speed of sound, 8,000 kilometers per hour or more. The scramjet then rammed into the ground, destroying it and completing the test. A Royal Australian Air Force spokesman said he was confident the test was successful this time round. This was the first time a scramjet was ever run and therefore it was the first in the world. Project engineers from the University of Queensland team leading the project expected to have all the data in hand and would then know whether the engine had worked as planned. High Shot Flight Program Director Dr Alan Paul explained how it was world first and very significant that Australia had played a large part in this experiment that may develop to become a game, a business or even an industry.